as Mark Twain once said, you know, whiskey is for sipping and water is for fighting. And there's going to be a lot of fighting about this before it's done. When you think about the finished product of a plastic bottle, you don't think about the process. Most of the public does not know that their plastic materials are being made in petrochemical plants. People think when they're drinking bottled water that they're getting a healthy product. They're not conditioned to think, well, maybe there's something in the plastic. We found that one person at the FDA was responsible for overseeing all of the regulation of bottled water in the country. Are you that one person? I do some, spend some of my time on bottled water, but I have other responsibilities as well. Uh, we don't consider tap water to be an enemy. We don't. Can people typically perceive a difference in taste? I can tell the difference in many bottled waters, just as I can tell the difference between tap water and, and other beverages. You can. Absolutely. You know, you're... You're under oath, but you're... Absolutely. You know, we'll give you, I say that with... We'll give you a tongue and exemption. Well, first of all, we should realize that a lot of bottled water is tap water. You, you, what do you mean? I, I thought that they came from, like, the mountains and the streams and the springs of Maine. That's what they would have us believe. Bottled water is the greatest advertising and marketing trick of all time. Money! There are all sorts of ecological problems. We use approximately 18 million barrels of oil to transport water, and it's growing every year. It's as if we're a bulimic society. We've been binging on petroleum, we've been packaging everything in plastic, and now we're running out of resources. In a time when we're looking at climate change, why are we shipping water around the world? If you eliminate the scourge of bottled water, you'll be eliminating one of the biggest problems facing our environment. And the fake plastic There's plastic everywhere in the ocean. There's nine million football fields of area. About as big as Texas, 3.5 million tons of plastic out there, all absorbing pollutants, animals consuming it up the food chain to the food that you and I eat. We want to drink the purest water that we can get. Now, why would you put that water into a substance which has the potential to leach chemicals into that water? Ten brands that we tested contained everything from radioactive materials to arsenic and industrial solvents, chemicals that leach out of the plastic itself. You're talking about virtually no testing, and people have just assumed that what we're getting is safe. Something causes a lot of these neighbors around here to be sick. When people buy bottled water, they are contributing to the toxic exposures that people here are suffering with. We don't have a chance. We do not have a possible chance. And one day we'll see the light. This phenol A may be one of the most potent toxic chemicals known to man. We don't have BPA in our product. None of your products? Correct. What about the five gallon jugs? Um, I'm not sure about those. This phenyl A is an industrial chemical that's in the big five gallon jugs. My concern is that the FDA doesn't want us to ask about BPA because of the current that's investigation. Um, Can you talk about it now? No. If I had known you were going to talk about that, probably wouldn't have given you the interview. What's happening here in Freiburg is really a microcosm for what's happening all around the world. Nestle, in, in the 10 years that they have been operating in this community, has torn the fabulous community apart. It's all about the control and ownership of water. It is not something where you can just sit back and hope that your elected representatives will always do the right thing. When we drink bottled water, we're telling our leaders that we don't care about the system. Well, this government's not doing anything. I mean, this government's uh, for sale. And so everything's ready to be auctioned off, including the public's right to water. 
Water is a basic human right. Everybody drinks water every day. It's necessary for the survival of life on the planet. The whole place is corrupt. When you start commodifying the necessities of life in such a way as to make it more difficult for people to gain access to those necessities, you have the basis for serious political instability. We are the children of revolutionary war soldiers, and we are not going to give this up without a fight. We won't let corporations come into our community, take our water. We are not giving it up without a fight. Water is really the next empire.